Championship for CroatianSports.com live from Alpine Village in Torrance, California. Martin Clark through CroatianSports.com reporting live from Polju for High Duke Split and Eastern Milan Europa League. It's going crazy here at Polju, just listen everyone. On here with the, the main man behind the whole Hotspur business, Harry Redknapp. On here with Dallas Mavericks, Jason Kidd. Ante Kvartic here for CroatianSoccerReport.com. I'm here in the visiting locker room at Staples Center with uh, Australian-born Croatian Andrew Bogut. Ante here for CSR in Astoria, Long Island. Uh, we're about 10 minutes away from kickoff of the Croatia-Greece game at Maksimir. Ante Kvartic reporting from the 5th Annual Small Goals Tournament in San Pedro, California. Ante Kvartic here for CSR.com in Big Bear, California. Uh, CSR is in full Oktoberfest swing here. We're going to go out, drink tonight. Uh, Croatia just beat Israel 2-1 in Tel Aviv, huge points, uh, we didn't play that well, Runja saved us, Kranchar came up top, two goals, a penalty, and a nice little flicker from Modric, but we got the important three points. Ante Kvartic here, CroatianSoccerReport.com, with Chris Otto from OnTheBaseline.com. Ante here in the CroatianSports.com war room, all the games have finished, Sweden has grabbed the best second place spot, which means Croatia will be put in the playoff, we will be a seeded team, unseeded will be Ireland. Montenegro, Bosna, and Estonia. On to Kvartic here, CroatianSoccerReport.com, here with two-time NBA MVP and legend Steve Nash. What do you think about my boy Modric at Tottenham? Yeah, Luka is oh, he's, a, he's a brilliant player. You know, he's one of my favorite players. Uh, you know, he's probably our most special player and uh, because he's a, he makes a difference with his touch and creativity. Uh, his ideas are very special and you know, he's very important to our team. When he feels good, you know, we, we're, we have a chance to beat anybody. You've been, you were keen on Kranchar at Portsmouth, and now Chorluka and Modric came in. Is there, some, is there something special about the Croatians that you love so much? I would say the best boys I ever managed in my life have all been Croatian boys. I just think they're fantastic boys. I'm not just saying that. Who's on your shopping list? I know you can't buy any player you want. Who would you want the most? That's, that's not on, on Crottenham right now. I might be taking another goalkeeper from Croatia. Pletikosa. Stipe Pletikosa. Uh, yeah, every chance. I think we might be getting him. Jason, you had a good part of your career uh, with the Nets of New Jersey. Uh, did you feel any kind of legacy from Drazen Petrovic, uh, the late great Drazen Petrovic, while you were at New Jersey? Oh, he was a legend. I mean, he was one of the first Euros to come over. And, and then on top of that, he had a lot of talent. And it was just unfortunate. Um, as life was, you know, cut short from the car accident. Have you ever been to Croatia? Heard any good vacation stories from Croatia? Zoran uh, Planinic um, is, is from there. So I got, uh, he was one of my teammates in New Jersey. And uh, I told him I would come visit him because of the beaches. Yeah, we'll get you over there on a nice uh, fat yacht one of these summers. How's that sound? That sounds good. I'm waiting for my invitation. I'll come. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. I'm here with very good friend Sean Maricic. He's half Croatian, half Irish. This is his first time in Croatia, and I had to take him to Hajduk Inted. He's been to NFL games, NBA, all that stuff in America. But, but what's your reaction watching Hajduk and Torcida today in split? Honest to God, I got the chills the whole game. I can't believe what's going on here. We lost 3-0, and it's still a party. Everybody's loving it. Torcida, oh my God, dude, they blew this stadium up today. Amazing. What do you have to tell all those people out there, all those Croatians, even non-Croatians out there around the world that haven't seen or haven't experienced this yet? You need to come to Split and experience Hajduk 100%, 110%. Uh, what do you think uh, about Bukovic's uh, uh, last performance against Latvia and should he start today? Um, with Modric coming back, I don't think so. Um, he's really, you know, people hype him up to be a Guatuso, but I don't see much in him. I'm going to go with 1-0 uh, for uh, Croatia, 0-0 nil -nil at halftime. Greeks are going to put the ball, uh, put nine guys behind the ball the entire game. Uh, Sudden a free kick from 23 and a half meters out. You heard it here first. I'm here with Genoa goalkeeper from the Youth Academy, Shane Rossi. Shane, what are you looking forward to today? Uh, shutouts all day long. We got Nick Bilic here from uh, the San Jose Clash. Uh, he was hung over all night last night. Look at Rockstar. Where are you coming from? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Where am I? Croatian superstar Ante Rajavanta, how's the tournament going so far for you? Where are you guys at? I believe we're in the finals. It's a good day, lovely day to be out here with all the people, and uh, we're having a good time. Now, a man of your caliber, you're playing in the B division. Uh, what's the reason for that? I'm an old man. I, I think uh, I'll definitely take him the A division. We'll uh, rip a couple goals next year. What do you say to that? I don't know. I'll be a little older next year, so I might be in the C division. <laughs> all right, Ante, your prediction for the Georgia match uh, next Friday. What do you got? 2-0. Uh, 4 
not Georgia. There you go. Well, you're here first. Thank you, Anta. Since you love the Croatians, okay. I'm going to give you your very own, your very own Crottenham Hotspur shirt. Do you like it? Can we get a Fantastic. picture with it? I'm going well, to show this to Luca <laughs> and the boys. So you, do you approve? Is it Harry Redknapp? Fantastic. All right, guys, you heard it here first. Harry, good luck. For all you Croatians out there, this day's been, been three years in the making. Some of you would call it a revenge mission, another a day of atonement. I'm here with Matt, the Golden Child label. Matt, how are you doing emotionally right now? We're about half an hour from kickoff. There you have it, folks. Uh, we're about five minutes uh, from kickoff here. We have Olic and Manjakic up top. And Vida's going to play that right-back position. Uh, let's see, Billy's just starting a new lineup. We haven't seen him before, but... Hopefully it pays off in Istanbul. On to here with CSR's own Purva Generation member, Mr. Dukic. You guys uh, just won in the semis. You guys uh, are going to face Adriatic in the final. Uh, how are you going to break them down? They're, they've won the tournament three out of the last four years. Well, we played them in, in the group stage, and it wasn't that good, but uh, I got suspended, so they didn't have me. So Purva Generation all the way. We're going to take it. Chris, the thoughts of the game. You missed the first goal, but you brought good luck. I came right when it happened. All I got to say is 2-0, bitches. Woo! Are you scared of the Turkish possession right now? They had the ball majority of the first half, and we're playing more of a counterattack style. Are you okay with that in the second half? You know, it's not my favorite, but I am okay with it because their possession's been weak. It's just been lateral movement and then long balls in that haven't been fruitful. Uh, we came out sluggish in the beginning, and uh, we, we scored two goals before, uh, before halftime there, and then we totally shut it down in the second half. What do you have to say to Slavin Bilic? I mean, you know, uh, basically I have to reiterate what you said. I mean, we came out sluggish, didn't really like it. I mean, I had a nervous breakdown the first half. Chris, uh, you were telling me earlier that uh, you talked with Manin Cilic's coach. Uh, what kind of regimen do they have in the camp? Uh, you are telling me that they don't have goals. What did you mean by that? I did speak with Bob Brett, and he's a, he's a really cool cat and a very mellow gentleman. And basically told me that goals aren't the way to go. He just said that he and Marin, for the time that they've been together, are working to improve skills and just to become a better tennis player and to basically learn how to have more success against the top players. World Cup 2010, Serbia, Australia. Where were you and how was your reaction after the 2-1 uh, win for Australia? <laughs> I, was in, I was in Australia actually, so um, I was supporting the Socceroos. Obviously, Croatia wasn't there, so uh, I was very happy that Australia won, no matter who it was against. Uh, just before I let you go here, what's the deal with Vegemite? Uh, the commentators hate it, the Aussies love it. What's your take on it? I'm more Ivar. I'm more of an Ivar man. Uh, Vegemite's not bad, but I mean, it's, it's kind of it's an acquired, very acquired taste, um, but I'm more for the Ivar. He's Ivar, he's not Australian, he's Croatian, you're here to hear first. Thank you again, Andrew, we appreciate your time. Really quick, a quick Tottenham question. Uh, we know uh, you're a lifelong fan, your parents are from North London. Uh, what do you attain this season's progress? They might make Champions League uh, twice in three years now. Is it more Harry Redknapp or the core group of players right now? Both. I mean, they have a really good squad, talented, athletic, skillful players, very good balance. And, and Harry Redknapp does a good job, I think, organizing them and keeping them motivated. If he goes to England, uh, would you welcome uh, Jose Mourinho? Of course. Anyone would take Mourinho. And, and really quick, uh, Luka Modric, where, where are Spurs this year if he goes to Chelsea uh, in the previous summer? Probably not in the top four. You know, he's our, our best player, so you know, it would be really tough to lose your best player when you're just trying to get in the Champions League. Antek Fartu, cheer, CroatianSports.com. Wedding of the century for you Croatian sports fans. Ante BBB has been married to her, his beautiful Christina. Our mission here tonight at Ante's wedding, at Ante BBB's wedding, to find out of the 400 people here at his wedding, are they Hajduk or are they Dinamo? Hajduk, forever. Come on, it's Hajduk all the way. Shit, man. Come on, you're about to. Hajduk, 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 Hajduk. Ante, I love you, but there's no question about it. It's just Hajduk. It's Hajduk, Hajduk. Hajduk all the way, baby. Always and forever. Ante Svaka Chas, congratulations. Yebish Dinamo, Yebish Dinamo. Hi Duke Split. Dinamo! Dinamo! Mute Mrs. Bericha, Mrs. BBB. Be careful with the next words you say. BBB Eli Hi Duke. BBB only. What is Hi Duke? We'll go back to the consensus in a while. Speaker, we'll turn you into a high At Ante Barichivich's wedding, Ante BBB, it's all Hajduk. Enough said. Poor guy, you know, he's a Dinamo fan, and hey, that's okay, but, you know, most people are Hajduk. Ante, 
So far tonight, 70-30, High Duke oh. representing at your wedding. What do you have to say about that? Oh, uh, we got a lot of people from San Pedro, a lot of Dalmatins, and a lot of people who are obviously mentally retarded, <laughs> but that's okay. No worries. I still love you guys. Susan Mokarabati. I'm here with old friend Peter Novakovic. We're going to be hearing more from him in the very near future. Thoughts on the 3-1 victory over Ireland. You know what, guys? Actually, I thought Croatia played so technically well today, and for Croatia to be the team that's outscored everybody in the tournament so far is amazing to me. But I really think, hats off to Slavin Village, he got the best out of every player. I think tactically to Croatia today showed the whole world that we can go very far in this tournament. I'm here with Joško Prebanda, the man behind the man, behind the man. Thoughts on the game? Unbelievable game. This is probably one of the better games that I've seen Croatia play. They set the tone for the rest of the European Cup. For Croatia! And this is Optic Martins reporting from a very, very happy Alpine Village in California. Croatia win 3-1 against Ireland.